You are tuned in to the NUC NFL Draft Bible Players Spotlight Show. Welcome back to the NUC NFL Draft Bibles Player Spotlight Show. I am your host, Chris Shanafel, and we are presented by the College Gridiron Showcase. To nominate a player for the third annual College Gridiron Showcase and Symposium, log on to cgsallstargame.com. Stay tuned for our 2017 College Gridiron Showcase watch list presented by the NUC NFL Draft Bible, which will be posted immediately following the 2016 NFL Draft. Follow College Gridiron Showcase on Twitter at CGS All-Star. The College Gridiron Showcase, it's not where you play, it's how you play. And joining the Player Spotlight Show this afternoon is a Division II prospect that is rising up the draft board as we get closer and closer to the 2016 NFL Draft. Uh, It really does seem like we hear more and more about this prospect as uh, days and weeks go by. He's the defensive end out of Shepherd University Chanel Jenkins and Chanel, we appreciate you taking some time out of your busy schedule to uh, join the show this afternoon. Um, I know that you recently had your pro day and you put up some impressive numbers, including a four seven eight forty yard dash. Uh, you also uh, were able to pump out twenty four reps of two hundred twenty five pounds on the bench, and you measured in at six three two hundred eighty four pounds. Um, it, it does sound as if uh, NFL teams they, they they like what they've seen. How, how do you feel about the way you performed earlier in the week at the West Virginia Pro Day? Uh, I feel very well about it. Uh, I feel good. I feel like I'm definitely extremely athletic to be my size. Mm-hmm. Uh, can, can you talk about where you've been training at, it, if you could? I mean, take us through what your average day of training consisted of to get you ready for that big pro day. Um, I've been training in Baltimore uh, with TGX Performance with a guy named Terry Gaines. And um, we pretty much train all day. He likes to focus on everything. So we do strength training, footwork. Anything you could think of to get us ready, so we are we are very well rounded as athletes. Nice, and yeah, you, you certainly seen that uh, earlier this week at that pro day again. Some very impressive numbers, uh, and your name has really been generating quite a bit of, of buzz, really over the last month or so. Um, what has some of the feedback been like for you? I mean, have you been able to talk to any scouts and, and pick their brains and, and kind of get their thoughts of what they think about you? Uh, I could definitely, you know, see that they like me, but, you know, they're pretty good at keeping secrets, so I can't tell you. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good at keeping their <laughs> mouths shut. But, uh, yeah, I mean, again, the, the, your your name, Chanel Jenkins, it's been generating quite a bit of buzz uh, for, for, quite a, for quite a while now, uh, you know, at least the last month, you know, probably even a little bit longer now. Uh, what, was there any questions about your game that you wanted to answer in front of those scouts? Well, two things. First, because I'm a D2 kid, you know, I play very physical, but people, you know, doubt it whether my strength would translate over to the next level. So I definitely wanted, you know, to silence those notions. But also people believe that, you know, I was just big, you know, I wasn't athletic. So I definitely wanted to show that I'm more than just a physical player, that I am athletic and that I could do multiple things. And I think you could see that not only in those pro day numbers that you put up, but, uh, you know, turn on the film and uh, you will see uh, somebody that really dominated the defensive side of the ball um, for for, uh, quite a few years there at Shepard University. He is the 2016 NFL draft prospect out of Shepard University, Chanel Jenkins, uh, joining us here on the NUC NFL Draft Bible Player Spotlight Show presented by the College Gridiron Showcase. And, uh, Chanel, looking at what you did uh, just this past season, I mean, you were the Mountain East Defensive Player of the Year. You led the Shepard Rams with 23 uh, tackles for loss, 13 and a half sacks. You forced three fumbles. Uh, what exactly was it about this past season, your senior year, that you were just able to dominate the competition week in and week out? Uh, it was really about winning. You know, you got a lot of young guys who look up to you. They, you know, they vote you in as a captain for a reason, and you just had to take it in and, and try to lead them. So it was about showing them the proper way to do everything and just trying to get a win at any cost. If you could single out one game, whether it's from this past season or, or you could go all the way back to your freshman year if you'd like, uh, but if you could single out one game and, and tell a scout to go back and watch it, what game would that be and why? Um, hmm. I would probably say Winston-Salem my, um, versus Winston-Salem my sophomore year in the playoffs. I feel like that's where I really started to emerge on the scene and really started showing – what I could do, and then, you know, just, you know, got better from there, so. 
Okay, Winston-Salem. I'm going to have to go back and check out that game myself. Uh, Winston-Salem, your sophomore year, which would have been 2013. I'll uh, definitely be keeping a tab on that. Um, Chanel, when, when did it become more clear that a professional football career may be in your future? I mean, when did you realize that you had a legit shot at making football your job? Hmm. I mean, people always say, yeah, you might have an opportunity, you have the size, but I guess when I was dominating a little bit, but I still felt as though I could be better. So, like, my junior year, you know, I had a decent season, but I felt like, you know, I could be a lot better. So, I'm like, everybody, like, oh, this guy's good, but I felt like I could get better. So, I felt like, you know, it was a chance for me to go professional because I still have a lot of room to grow even now after my season, so. And coming from a Division II program in Shepherd University, Chanel, is that something that you kind of take pride in, that you're taking a route to the NFL that not too many people make? Yes, I feel like there's no better person to be suited for that role, but I definitely, you know, am blessed and grateful. But I want to make it easier for these two players to get in the NFL, so everything I do is going to be put my best foot forward. So the next generation of these two players, you know, have it a little bit easier when it comes to this process. And, and you know, I'll tell you what, I mean, year after year, it seems like we see more and more of the smaller school guys, um, you know, do a lot uh, throughout their collegiate career, and then they ultimately do get a shot in the NFL, and it certainly looks like you're on your way. Um, What do you feel separates you from uh, the other pass rushers in this year's draft class? Uh, That I'm extremely balanced. Like I could beat people with speed. I could beat them with power. You know, I got a lot of different moves. I got longer arms for my size. So, I mean, it's a lot of things I could do. So, it's not like you'll be able to lock down and, you know, just vertical settle me or quick set me. It's going to be a game plan and you're going to have to, you know, switch up your sets. You can't just, you know, you can't anticipate what I'm about to do. So, there's a lot of options. Yeah, and I guess we could just stay right there. I mean, uh, Chanel, give us a, a brief scouting report on yourself, if you can. What, what do you feel is your biggest strength as a defensive end, and what is one thing that you feel the need that you could still improve on? Um, I feel like I could get a little bit better with, you know, using my hands, making it a little bit easier, get to a cue, not always trying to muscle people. But I feel like with the um, combination of speed and strength, I'm, it's going to be a long day for tackles, you know. Get them going upfield, bull rush them, you know, keep counter back underneath, could beat them around the edge with speed. So all that, you know, they're going to have to play full quarters with me. And then I don't give them anything in the run either, so. Okay, okay. And if you could, talk about the defense you guys ran over there at Shepard. And is there a specific defense that you feel fits your skill set, or do you feel that, you know, you're kind of like a plug-and-play type of player? It really doesn't matter what kind of defense you're in. You're, you're, you're going to wreak havoc no matter what. <laughs> Um, we ran like a 4-4 four, four at my school. So we had basically four linebackers. We used our um, weak safety and rolled them up in the box more often than that as the fourth linebacker. And, I mean, it was a pretty simple defense. You know, gap control. Everybody is responsible for a gap in the front eight. And that's pretty much how we play. I was responsible for being over the tight end and controlling the seat gap and setting the edge. So I feel like I could play any defense. So. Okay, great. And is there a current or maybe a former NFL player that you try and mold your game after, maybe take bits and pieces of their game and try and add it onto your own? Um, I still start from a lot of NFL players, and not only NFL players, college players. So when I'm watching stuff, I'm always looking at what people are doing and seeing how it could translate to my game. Okay. And you know what? Uh, obviously, Shepard, one of the top Division II programs, and, uh, you know, they've been one of the top programs in Division II for uh, quite a few years now. Um, this past season, you guys finished 13-1, and one, that one loss coming in the Division II National Championship game. So there's no doubt that the talent is there. You mentioned it. It's still a pretty young team uh, overall. Um, who, who might be the next Shepard Ram that we need to keep an eye out for? <laughs> I actually believe it or not, I believe we have three dimes next year. Um, one would be uh, Billy Brown, wide receiver. Uh, we have a, a safety by the name of Trey Solomon. I feel like he's going to have a great season this year. And then we have a, um, a DN slash outside linebacker named Elijah Norris. So I think all three of those guys are going to have a big season and have an opportunity to pursue careers in the NFL. 
All right, I might have to start my 2017 small school uh, scouting here uh, in just a few minutes with the list of names right there from Shepherd University. Final question for you, Chanel. We appreciate you taking some time this afternoon. Let's say we have all 32 NFL general managers. They're lined up. They're listening to this very interview. Why should they want the defensive end out of Shepherd University? Chanel Jenkins, a part of their team. Um, I feel like. First and foremost, you know, I, I do everything off the field. You know, you won't have to worry about me working hard or getting in trouble or anything like that. But also, I'm very competitive, and, you know, everything is about teamwork and winning to me. But as an individual, I'm very ferocious, and, you know, I'm going to get after it. So it doesn't matter if I'm playing against the best offensive tackle on the lead or we down to at least one. I'm going to give my best effort, and I'm going to try to dominate whoever lined up in front of me. Absolutely. Hey, uh, any plans for uh, draft day or, or whenever you might get that call? Uh, any plans throughout that uh, April 28th through the 30th weekend? No, I'm just going to be in the house chilling for real. All right, there you go. Well, Chanel, we appreciate you taking some time this afternoon. Congratulations on what was a very successful Shepherd Rams football career. Wishing you all the best once you get that phone call. I appreciate you interviewing me. There he goes, Shaneel Jenkins, the impressive defensive end out of Shepherd University, a Division II kid that, that, like I said in the beginning, has uh, really been uh, flying up the draft boards, has generated quite a bit of buzz over the last uh, few weeks, maybe month or two. Um, and, and this is a guy, uh, I, I won't even lie to you, I, I was late to the party when, when it came to finding out about him, but uh, you know, you turn on that film and uh, it's certainly a player that you want to learn more about and, and a player that you want to see more of. And I think he's a really uh, intriguing prospect, um, especially as you know we, we hit the home stretch here, uh, you know, less than three weeks away from the 2016 NFL draft. I certainly think this is a name, Shaneel Jenkins, that uh, a team could take a flyer on in the sixth, seventh round, priority free agent, and he'll be a guy that uh, really does make some noise, I think, in a training camp uh, in the preseason, and uh, I think he'll find himself on a, a practice squad or, or a 53-man roster uh, on an a NFL roster near you. Once again, the NUC NFL Draft Bible Player Spotlight Show is presented by the College Gridiron Showcase. To nominate a player for the third annual College Gridiron Showcase and Symposium, log on to cgsallstargame.com. Stay tuned for our 2017 College Gridiron Showcase watch list presented by the NUC NFL Draft Bible, which will be posted immediately following the 2016 NFL Draft. Follow College Gridiron Showcase on Twitter at CGS All Star. The College Gridiron Showcase, it's not where you play, it's how you play. Special thanks again to Shanil Jenkins of Shepherd University, 2016 NFL Draft Prospect, for calling the show, and uh, we appreciate it. And until next time, everybody.